Number 11. A physicist performing a sensitive measurement wants to limit the magnetic force on a moving charge in her equipment to less than 1 times 10 to the minus 12 newtons. What is the greatest charge uh, can be? What is the greatest charge can be? What can the greatest charge be? Uh, okay, right. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe my brain is just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's way too late to be doing this. Um, what is the greatest charge can be if it moves at a maximum? It still doesn't make sense. Uh, whatever. At a maximum speed of 30, 30 meters per second in the Earth's field. Okay. So letter A. Basically, we're going to use a formula that the force on a moving charge uh, in a magnetic field will equal the magnitude of the charge of that moving particle multiplied by the velocity of that moving particle multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field multiplied then by the sine of the angle between the velocity vector or the velocity of that object, that velocity of that moving charge, and the magnetic field, okay, uh, vector. So uh, what we are being given, right, um, it says uh, that, uh, you know, we have to find the greatest charge, I guess, amount. So we're solving this for Q, okay? So simply divide everything on out from the right-hand side and boom, bring it down into the denominator. All right? So there we go. Okay. So the maximum speed, right, is going to be now, here's the thing, right? The maximum speed here, they tell us, is going to be 30 meters per second, okay? The other piece of information we're going to need to know is the strength of Earth's magnetic field. Now, that is a relative, I mean, it changes, uh, but we're going to have to pick a value. And the magnetic field on Earth is basically roughly around 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. All right, Tesla. Okay. Um, and then the next part is that, you know, we have to then figure out what the angle should be. Now, if we read carefully, did they tell us anything about the angle? Well, no, right? But they said that the force has to be less than 1 times 10 to the minus 12 newtons. Okay. So we're going to assume that the angle here is going to be 90 degrees, okay? Because otherwise, if it gets super, super small, then this now becomes super, super, super large, right? And in theory, okay, in theory, this can basically, this, this charge value could, approx could approach infinity because this value down here can approach zero as the angle approaches zero, Um so, uh, you know, just let's assume one, <laughs> excuse me, let's assume 90 degrees, which would give us a value of one in there. Okay. So the force here, they told us is one times 10, one times 10 to the minus 12, divided then by the velocity, which is 30 meters per second. The strength of that magnetic field on earth is a roughly, roughly around five times 10 to the minus fifth. And then we'll just say the sine of 90 degrees, that's going to equal Q. Let's plug it on into the calculator. Let's see what we get. 1 times 10 to the minus 12th, divided then by parentheses 30 times 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. All right. And then this comes out to be about 6.67 times 10 to the minus 10th. Okay. And that's going to be in terms of coulombs, because that's what how charge is measured. Those are the units. So that's basically uh, the greatest charge. All right. Now it says discuss whether with this would be difficult to limit the charge to value. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I mean, I, I think so. Um, this is quite tiny. I think static electricity is somewhere around 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. So I think so. But um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I'll see you soon. All right. Take care.